Hi guys, welcome back to this lecture. We will talk about how to add a new volume or a new disk to your virtual machine. It is very simple, okay, and uh, you will do it right now. But first of all, let's sh show you. Let's say I want to add a new uh, block device to my node, to this node for example. For example, you know that we already know that uh, block list we have only blocks uh, uh, that block device that has been assigned to this node okay we have only volume that has been assigned to it okay and so let's say that and let me show you ssh another thing to be sure that we are on the same line okay lsb lk for instance I have only with VDA, okay, a block device on this node, okay. So let's go back. And to add a, a new uh, block device to, my, to the node, it's pretty simple, okay. You, ver you have first to create it on your KVM environment and second times assign it to your node, okay. To create it, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Let's say I want to create a I want to add a block device size of 100 gig, okay, to my node. I have first, I have first to create it. Create, you have to create it first, okay, with this command. And uh, when the, the creation has been done, the next step, I can assign the, the disk or the block device to my uh, node, okay. And the assignment is pretty, pretty simple. Which it is the host name or the virtual machine name, the source. Okay, and uh, the target uh, how this block device will appear in the virtual machine environment. I have to specify it. Okay, and the persistent say right now I want to add uh, the the file to my node. Okay, and uh, let me just uh, specify uh, the host name the list on which I want to add uh, the, the disk. Okay, and uh, from there, okay, we this we this has been successfully attached to my node. If I do virtual block list, okay, I can see that of a new block device has been assigned to my node. Great, okay, and I can connect on it and to be sure that the disk of a block device is there. LSB LK LSB LK Yeah, as you can see my new block device is there and the size is 100 G, uh, gig. Okay, so that's uh, very cool and I can use it uh, as I want to for my future uh, usage. Okay, so that whole and uh, let's say we want to uh, disconnect or remove a disk from a node it's uh, pretty simple the same the same ac action should be done okay this uh, the dish okay exact uh, let's go back <laughs> we have to go back control c exit go back and uh, specify uh, the host name okay here the the host name on which I want to remove the block device. Okay, here it is uh, the, the Ubuntu node. Let me remove the, the domain. Yeah, so the, the command is which detached the domain name or the virtual machine name of your host uh, name. Okay, which is this one and the target device. In our case, it is uh, this block device that has, that you will be uh, should be removed from the node, okay? And I do a uh, just uh, with the dish actions. Okay, this detection successfully. Okay, that great, that good, and uh, that whole. And uh, so thank you very much, uh, and it is, was all for this lecture. Very short, mm -hmm. okay? So goodbye uh, from now.